प्रॉब्लम नंबर एट फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग काउज सीट विच इज हाइपोसाइक्लोइड सो इन हाइपोसाइक्लोइड रो सर्कल इज रोलिंग सर्कल इज रोलिंग ऑन इन साइड द डिरेक्टिंग सर्कल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू लिमिट द यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द लिमिट ऑफ द दैट रोलिंग सर्कल सो द इक्वेशन इज थीटा इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी इन टू स्मॉल आर अपॉन कैपिटल आर सो हियर स्मॉल आर इज गिवन टू यू दैट इज फिफ्टी एम एम रोलिंग सर्कल रेडियस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम एंड कैपिटल आर इज अ डिरेक्टिंग सर्कल रेडियस विच इज वन ट्वेंटी एम एम सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट इट इन योर कैलकुलेटर द एंगल विल बी सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री सो यू हैव टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस लाइन रैंडम लाइन एंड मेजर द एंगल ऑफ वन सेवेंटी सॉरी सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम सो इफ दिस इज यूर इन ओरिजिन पॉइंट देन यू हैव टू मेजर द डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी एम एम बिकॉज द रेडियस ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग सर्कल इज वन ट्वेंटी सो मार्क अ वन ट्वेंटी एम एम रेडियस एट रेंडम एंगल लाइक दिस सो दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी एंड नाउ मेजर द एंगल ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री फ्रॉम दिस डिरेक्शन so this is a 75 degree and again measure the same for 120 mm distance like this so this point is your o point now measure o as a center and end point like this make an arc so this is your directing circle on which our circle is rolling inside it so this is the structure of uh, directing circle now you have to construct a rolling circle with the radius of a uh, diameter of 50 mm so for that you have to measure the distance of uh, 25 mm radius so 25 mm radius put pointer on this end point make an arc so this is your center point this is the center point of a circle to find out center point 25 mm radius you have to measure this point is your center point and make a circle so this circle is my rolling circle and the the dimension of this rolling circle is 25 mm uh, radius or we can say a uh, 50 mm diameter now you have to uh, divide this circle into 12 equal parts so same first of all uh, draw perpendicular line and divided into 12 equal parts to so to divide it into 12 equal parts you have to measure a radius uh, 30 degree 60 degree 30 and 60 degree draw a circle uh, lines from the measurement from the both the side so this is your uh, divisions now you have to give names so be careful while giving you the names so this point is one so you have to write down a labelings in this direction because it is rolling in that direction uh, because it's a hypocycloid so you have to give names like this so if you uh, give uh a uh, labeling in this direction the whole meaning and the structure of uh, the epicycloid will be different so make sure that you give names in this direction now same method which you have followed in uh, previous problems of cycloids 
you have to transfer you have to divide this into 12 equal parts this curvature so we have a radius this arc is 75 degree so 75 divided by 12 so this 6.25 is our angle so one angle is 6.25 you can take any random uh, or another method is you don't need to take a 75 mm every time so you can take a, a nearer value which can be divided by 12 or you can take this 6.25 as a random and put your this make a steady make it steady like this and if this is a 6.25 this is 6.25 first make then second one is 6.25 into 2 so which gives you 12.5 so put your point on 12.5 like this so now uh, like this you have to put every points that divides this arc into 12 equal parts now joint all the points with the origin up to this directing line because our main interest is this we have to divide uh, directing line into 12 equal parts so you have to uh, no need to extend this up to, to that but uh, we have to extend it up to the center line which we are interested in so if this is a center point the measurement is from O to center line So this point this is a C point then we need to transfer our center points on the center line only then draw the center lines uh, lines from this divisions up to center line once you draw all the lines just give names to them C1 C2 These are the one dash. Now to find out the points, you have to draw construct a uh, curvatures which is passing from different different points. Let's start with the uh, number one. So you have to draw a arc which is passing from 1 and 11 from O center O as a center this O as a center and make an curvature which is passing from 1 and 11 then 2 and 10 9 and 3 8 and 4 o, uh, maintain this center O eight and four seven and five and six is already drawn now you have to measure the distance of the radius distance of radius and make an arc if this is a C1 point make an arc on the line passing from 1 this is a C2 this is the curvature 2 line passing from 3 is this likewise so this is the 4 5 6 7 see C7 and the line curvature passing from the 7 you have to make an arc on that arc so this is your 7 8 this is your 8 and 9 10 11 and well so your 
or curvature is look like this so this point is your p1 point this is p2 p3 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 now joint all the points with the smooth curve make it dark so this is your asked hypocycloid the circle is rolled inside the directing circle and uh, to draw normal and tangent it is same method as we follow for epicycloid so make an uh, make any point on the curve which is m now uh, maintain this distance of radius of the uh, rolling circle put point on m make an arc on the center line so this point is your m0 now join this center line with the origin o and extend it up to directing circle so this is your directing circle so this point is n point i'll repeat m first of all m make an arc on the center line with the this as a radius and joint it with the o and extend that line up to this directing circle so this is your n and join n with m so this is your n dash so this is nor normal and perpendicular to it gives you tangent so this is your tangent so this is hypocycloid with the normal and tangent.